wing, big smoke when I pull up. Got your free roll, sweet so uh, deep. When I pull on the scene, got a geek and it popping the head to the beat. beat. I ain't blowing, big smoke when I pull up. I got the smoke rolling that like a poco. Go smoke on my clothes, smoke through my nose. I'm hella blow. I got that powder, that got me floating. Moving slow motion. Sweetie C, yo, sweetie C with locks of love. What's up? How you doing today? What's I up? I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Yo, I'm doing something brand new on my channel. I linked up with Charlie CB Business, and he's here. How you doing? Sure. I couldn't wait to get here. <laughs> I go out to. I couldn't wait to get here. What's going on? What's up? I'm excited that you came, and you're you're you know what I'm saying you're gonna let me interview you. I'm gonna let you in. Who is Charlie CB Business? Uh, Charlie CB Business. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a father. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, how can I say this? Uh, I'm that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm an artist. Yeah. I also rap. I do music. I ain't too. blowing big smoke when I pull up. Got your free roll, sweet so deep. When I pull on the scene, got a geek in it. So, what genre would you consider yourself in as far as rap? Trap and blues. Trap and blues. Yes. What is, what is trap and blues? I kind of mix my trap music mm -hmm. with, with kind of like the struggle blues music because I, I kind of do the auto tune thing. If people, the, uh, you know, they got they, they feel a certain way about auto tune with me. I like auto tune. I've been rocking with auto tune for some time. So. so you feel like there's nothing wrong with auto tunes, right? Yeah, if you, I mean, if you do it in your own way and you're not trying to sound like a certain one, I feel like it's, it's still music. Right. Do you always use auto tunes or is it? No, nah, sometimes it just depends on how I feel. Oh, okay. You okay. know, like if if I go in the studio that day and that day I feel like you know, blank everybody in the parking lot. You uh -huh. know, I can't go in there and do a song on some lovey dovey song. You mm -hmm. know, I got to do something how I feel. I make music off of feeling. Oh, okay. So so that's not so nothing's wrong with that. He's not saying he does auto tunes all the time, but he he's willing to do an auto tune depending on the flow of the song. Yeah. Whatever's best for the song at that time. If I feel like my voice sound like this better, like, then that's what we're going with. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So where are you from? Uh, I was born in Oklahoma City, but I am from Tulsa. I grew up in Tulsa, so, you know. Oh, okay. You know, in the country. I grew up, uh, I'm from Oklahoma. Let's just say that. Okay. So he's from Oklahoma. So there's Oklahoma, and then there's Oklahoma City, and then there's Tulsa, Oklahoma. How far is Tulsa from Oklahoma? I said I like an hour and a half. It's kind of like how Dallas is in Florida, but it's like, it's different. All right, y'all. So, <laughs> you know, we're in Texas though right now, right? Nah, shout out Texas. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Texas, for sure. Um, which is not wrong with representing where you're from, which is he's born in Oklahoma, but he does live here in Texas, and he's he's very supportive of uh, Texas. Oh, uh, yeah. This second home, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cali next, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Cali next. What is the best song that you released so far? Um, that I released. Mhm. Mm let me say, I got a lot of songs that didn't get released that I feel like stepping on his mess. Mm -hmm. Say, um, probably say "Breaking Colors." "Breaking Colors" is, is like a, a universal song mm -hmm. that a lot of people can relate to, but really that came from the heart. I actually freestyled that, if you know. You did. So you freestyled. So you just went in that booth that, that day and, you, and that's the song you came up with is Breaking Codes? Yeah, uh, I felt like, you know, man, I was out, I was back home. Uh, I stopped by the liquor store, got me a bottle of Douce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I was with my, actually, my engineer, Ryan. Shout out to Ryan Smallwood. What's up, Ryan? Um, and uh, he, he said, man, come through. He had a beat and he played the beat. And I was like, dang, mm -hmm. is that your beat? I was like, man, I was gonna do something with you know how they say when they wanna keep it for themselves. Uh -huh. I'm like, man, come on, stop playing, let's go, come on, let's do it. Uh -huh. So he loaded it up. And um, when I heard the beat immediately, I was like, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And I was just trying to ponder and get it together. Like, what what should the song be about? I just started mm -hmm. thinking. That's the first thing that came to mind. And y'all need to check out that song Breaking Codes. I did a reaction video to it. I was thoroughly impressed. You have to understand, this is new to me, like he is, he may not be well known to y'all, but he is pretty well known around here in these streets. And, and for me to have an opportunity to interview somebody who's doing so well on YouTube, 
His videos are doing excellent. Breaking codes is at what now? Do you know? Um, I haven't checked it. In a minute. Uh, last time I looked at it, it was like eleven thousand or something, but it's still going up. Yeah, it's it's, it's a really good song. Like, yo, you can't be out here breaking codes. Just just that alone. Go watch the video. Make sure you check out my, my reaction. I'm gonna actually put my link in uh, the description. Is that how you normally create your raps, your songs? That's exactly how I do it. Whatever I'm going through, mm -hmm. or you know, whatever's uh, on my on my mind, on my heart that day is what what I come with. You know, when people like it. They kind of sometimes I don't know how to feel. I be like, man, appreciate it, thank you. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's adding fuel to my fire. They tell me like, keep going. It's so gonna be like it back. Just on the fly. Are you able to do that too, or? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm not able to do that. Yeah. yeah. They, they give That's you a good beat, you can. Throw the beat out there. I might slide on something tight. I fulfill, like I say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling the beat. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think about rappers who have ghostwriters? Do you think there's a, do you have an issue with that? Or would you ever consider that? It's a little controversial. I mean, I call them, I consider them entertainers. You know, if they mm -hmm. got a ghostwriter. Me, I don't have no ghostwriter. Let me throw that up there on the table. But if you have a ghostwriter, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't consider you a, a, a rapper. I consider you an entertainer because you didn't come up with it yourself, you know. But you out here entertaining because it might be somebody who got good lyrics, but when they rap it, they don't got the illusion. Right. And that's what it is mm -hmm. nowadays. You got to have the whole package, the illusion. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people say they sold for a jelly roll. <laughs> Not for real. Now you said you you were with a label, but you're independent now, right? Yeah, I'm independent right now. I do. Um, I still rock with them and my brothers. Cam, keeping all my main brothers. That's what's up. so you still cool with your label. I'm, I'm still cool with them. You know what I mean? We brothers. That's what's up. But you know, as far as business, I had to do. I make an executive decision. Mhm. Mm what you recommend to young people out there who want to be a rapper? What route would you tell them to take? Or people say it's good to have a label. You know what I mean? It's good to be independent, but it's still a, a harder hustle when you're independent than with a label. I would tell them stay independent, stay focused, learn the business, don't mm -hmm. sign nothing. Uh, if you're rocking with them, rock with them, learn everything that you can because they any loopholes they're gonna try to they're gonna try to get over on you. If, if they feel like you don't know nothing about that, mm -hmm. then they're gonna, you know, flip the script on you. You can lose a lot of time, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's best to be cautious of it. And do everything yourself. Mm -hmm. Invest in you, uh, promotion, marketing, brand you, you are a walking business, so brand you. That's the stuff. This is my head right here, Michael Carlos. Y'all gonna look that up, track all in my rap. I am trying to get this all the way from Tuss on the phone.